This week, we're playing Fist Tier Doom. This may also be the last time anyone sees a game from him because as of recording this intro, no one can seem to find him right now. But as it stands, Fist is number one in the TGS standings. That's largely in part due to Terra gouging fire, and it's nine kills in four weeks. On top of that, Fist's team is supported by Iron Bundle, newly buffed Metagross, Ogre Pond Wellspring, and a plethora of premier defensive options to help him switch around. How do we take down the number one team in the league? Step into my office and find out. The first member of the team is Raikou. This set is about as standard as it gets with just max special attack, near max speed, timid enough for Ogre Pond specifically, but it's far and away the most threatening set. Terra Water creates a 50-50 on the turn Iron Bundle would want to revenge Raikou as clicking Freeze Dry into a plus one plus one unterred Raikou would result in instant death for Bundle. We'll be using Boots to get Raikou in frequently and the moves are about as standard as its EV spread. T-Bolt, Scald, Volt, and Calm Mind. Terra Water also allows for an Ogre on standard Dawn Fan with plus one Scald if Sturdy is already broken. Fizdef wheezing slots in as it pretty much always does as it can hurt the Ogre Pond and Gouging Fire's chances of sweeping through the use of Clear Smog. Rocky Helmet is nice for punishing Flip Turn and U-Turn as well as instantly breaking the aforementioned Sturdy. Flamethrower hits Metagross very well as it should be the initial switch into wheezing and Defog seems pretty necessary as Ogre Pond could just get up spikes if it really wanted to. You may have noticed the question mark on my team in the intro. I haven't mentioned this yet, but we made a pretty impactful transaction in the TGS. We dropped Alcremi, Mousehold, and Whiskash and picked up the third member on our team this week, Porygon2. Porygon's role here is just to be a general nuisance to Fist's team. It also just so happens to be a really good switch in to very strong special attacks coming from the likes of Specs Iron Bundle or Sylveon. Eviolite is obviously the item of choice and the moves aren't complicated. Foul play for Gouging Fire, Metagross, and Storm. Snorlax, Ice Beam to avoid contact into Zapdos, T-Wave for everything but Zapdos, and Recover. Our ability selection is pretty important here as Analytic is somewhat illogical paired with T-Wave, but luckily, Download will usually give us the special attack raise. The final defensive component on the team this week is Terra Ghost Archaladon. Why Terra Ghost? Well, to be honest, it's strictly to remove the weakness to Ogre Pond's low kick, as with one Swords Dance up, it can very easily snowball. It has the added benefit of spin blocking the Dawn Fan, but that's not very important. However, this will be our rocker, of course, and we'll have Dragon Tail to force out fist setup mons to keep them from getting out of hand. Dark Pulse hits Metagross and Flash Cannon slots in as the last move for Bundle and Sylveon, the latter of which explains our slight amount of speed investment. I haven't liked using standard Iron Boulder, but this matchup is probably as good as it gets for it. Once the Dawn Fan is weakened, Boulder kind of just goes hard outside of a Scarf Bundle, so we'll be using what you see on the OU ladder. Swords Dance, three attacks. Sacred Sword is maybe a little less seen on Boulder, but it's really good for breaking through Curse Lax. Our speed lets us be be faster than Trailblaze boosted Ogre, and I made sure I could live a banded Metagross bullet punch after rocks with my HP investment. You know what's great about Great Tusk's speed? It can run Adamant Choice Scarf and still outspeed Bundle. If and only if it runs 252 EVs in speed. As you can see, we didn't do that. So currently we're speed tying a max speed timid bundle. Now granted, there's no actual reason for Fist to run max speed timid. All he needs to do is outspeed Boulder. So hopefully this doesn't come up. Regardless, Tusk looks amazing here with a choice scarf. Close combat hits everything but Zapdos really hard. Stone Edge will two shot the Zap. And once that's gone, EQ is a very free click. Finally, Iron Head hits Sylveon just a tad harder than EQ, but also covers for Terra Fairy Gouging Fire as Heavy Slam would bounce off that. Fist has really liked bringing Terra Fairy, so this is extra insurance. And that's all six. Now let's go beat the number one team. All right, a four and one record here puts us in a really good spot to try to make playoffs. Let's see what Fist brought. All right, so we see the bundle, we see the Ogre Pond, Dawn fans here. No Sylveon, that's kind of cool. So into this team, I think I do still want to lead our Chaladon here. It doesn't have a terrible lead into anything. Covers Dawn fan lead, covers Zapdos lead, even covers bundle lead to an extent. We don't have a lot of spit F, but at least we'll scout it. And then Porygon can come in after and eat ice beams, no problem. Oh, and another thing to note is that the Gouging Fire is Terra Ground. Terra Ground does mean that Tusk doesn't have a super effective move into the Gouging Fire. 
All right, so Fist is gonna lead off with the Metagross, which I'm not too scared of. I'm fully physically defensive and I have Dark Pulse. I think I am just going to fire off a Dark Pulse here. We could end up triggering Weakness Policy, which is something that I do maybe wanna try to avoid, but we can just Dragon Tail after. Rocks are also really good because they give me information on the top three while also weakening Ogre Pond. So I am just gonna go for Rocks. What I'm noticing is that Fist insulated super well into Boulder with Terra Ground on the Gouging Fire and the rest of the team that he brought. I'm assuming that the Zapdos has a way to paralyze me. And then the rest of the Mons on his team aren't really weak to Boulder outside of Bundle, right? But if Bundle's Scarf, then it's still not weak to Boulder because it just has to lock into a water move. So here is Zapdos. We could make a play into Raikou here. We are Boots though. I could also just go into the Porygon and I could also Dragon Tail. I just want to calc Discharge and Hurricane. So Discharge is 21, Hurricane should be about 29, 28.9, okay. All right, well, we'll see, we'll, we'll detail out. Uh, he could read a switch into Raikou, a switch into the Porygon as well, which is why I'm kind of like expecting, half expecting U-turn or Volt Switch or yeah, Volt Switch, there it is. So it does 18%, which lines up with no special attack. So it's just bulky. And we are just gonna get off a of Dragon Tail. So here comes the Metagross, and we will just detail. So it took rocks, took 7%. In comes Bundle, and it has to eat Stealth Rocks. Now, I could go Porygon. I doubt he wants to flip turn, and I could scout the set. And I can keep my Archalot on for another day. If he flip turns, that's fine, because the rocks are up. So it's just chipping away at the bundle. Ice Beam plus T-Wave does a lot of work here, and Foul Play as the last move is quite nice for the Metagross. Now with the Metagross, I do have to watch out for knockoff specifically, but I don't really have a switch into that because I don't want to lose my leftovers on our Chalodon considering it looks this good. There is the flip turn. It does 9%. So what, he's like minus attack for Foul Play? <laughs> like, what are you trying to cover here? No matter what comes in, we're okay. Metagross would have to take a foul play. I'd probably start with Thunder Wave because it's a lot more free into the team outside of like Zapdos and Donphan, both of which do not want to take Ice Beams. So here's the Metagross. I fully expect knockoff. The bundle could still be Specs. If it is Specs, we do have a choice Scarf uh, Great Tusk to outspeed it. We actually speed tie it. That's terrible but I doubt he meant he went max speed. <laughs> okay, so I miss EV'd my Tusk. I should have gone a little bit faster. That is an Earthquake, and that does no damage, and we are gonna get off a of Para on this thing and proceed to Foul Play it. Here's the Foul Play, it does 62. No weakness policy, Earthquake comes out, and this is a free recover turn. This thing could honestly just solo his team. <laughs> there is Heavy Slam, but we can just spam recover on this until he gets para Okay, this is fine, he goes into Dawn Fan. As I recover, it is not leftovers. We are going to fire off an Ice Beam because this thing is in the way of Raikou. And Raikou looks damn good here. <laughs> With Metagross at 18, yeah, there's the knockoff. That makes sense. Here's the Ice Beam and the Dawn Fan nearly dies. And now thanks to having Rocky Helmet and Levitate, I can actually switch my Porygon to out. There's nothing that the Dawn Fan can do to punish it. And we can just go Weezing. And hopefully there's no massive punish to Weezing, like Shadow's Kiram was trying to do. And even if it is, I think I just go hard Arch Alanon, honestly, because <laughs> there's no shot that he clicks a... Uh... Okay, so there's the rocks. That's fine. This is just going to be a flamethrower turn. Well, yeah, we are just going to flame. Here's Heavy Slam. Okay, so he's going to drop to Rocky Helmet. Could see a little Ogre Pawn action here. Curious to see what Fist wants to do about this Weezing, how he wants to punish this. Uh, in comes the bundle. Okay. So we have a few options. We can either, we can probably just sack this, honestly. If he locks in an Ice Beam, I could then SD. And then the Gouging Fire has to immediately Terra and go for Earthquake. So I think I do just sack this. It doesn't actually beat the Gouging Fire because of the type that it is. So yeah, I think I do just sack this. That's fine. Now I can go Boulder and I can immediately SD. Problem is Metagross comes in and clicks Bullet Punch and that's gonna hurt. I think the play is to go Boulder and click Cleave. Let's just see how much Mighty Cleave does to Metagross. It should kill it after rocks, even if it's max HP. So I think we do just go Boulder, and I'm just gonna click Cleave, because this should be a Metagross sack. So I probably just Cleave here, yeah. Metagross should drop to Cleave. There we go. In comes Ogre Pawn. Why are you putting yourself in range of Raikou? I think I, do, I disallow an SD here and I just go for Cleave. Alternatively, I could go into all Arch Allied on hard, but Arch is way too good here. Like I think Arch plus Raikou wins the game. So I think I do just Cleave for damage. That's 65, here's the Cudgel, that's KO, that's fine. And now we just go Raikou and we just click Thunderbolt. Now the Gouging Fire has to decide between staying regular and allowing me to Volt Switch on it and getting in my Arch Allied on and tearing, or if I'm gonna Terra and he Terras, then I hit him with a, a Scald, right? Okay, so, my opponent decides to conserve the 23% Ogre Pawn in favor of going Zapdos. 
Why? Now I can calm mind. This seems nonsensical. And you know I'm Terra Water, so I don't think you ever Terra Ground. But I do want to see how much a Terra Water Scald does to Gouging Fire at plus one. If this is a fully bulky Gouging Fire, Scald does 46 to 54. I am just risking the game if I do that, though. So I think the correct play is to leave this thing as an electric type and just go... I think I have to go Tusk here. Yeah, I'll go Hard Tusk. Let's see what my opponent does. Does DD. And let's go for the Close Combat. I think that's the play because he can Terra, right? I could have Volt Switched. I had a feeling that he wouldn't Terra because of the Terra type that I am, but I didn't want to risk that because then that's a free DD and that's absolutely atrocious. So we, we can't risk that. So my opponent could be expecting bulk up here. Terra's into a ground type. I get off the CC. There's the Flare Blitz and we die, but now I can go into our Chaladon and just Dragon Tail out. Alternatively, I could go P2 and Ice Beam because Flare Blitz knocks me out, but what about Earthquake? Earthquake does 50, so I live. So I could Ice Beam. So we just Ice Beam and then Raikou should win in theory. Yeah, I, th I don't think we let this thing recover for free. I think we do go P2. There's the Flare Blitz. Do we see? No, he does not go down to Recoil. And thus we have to Dragon Tail here. And how much does my Flash Cannon do? 28 to 31, not enough. We got a Dragon Tail. Okay. There's the Flare Blitz. Not enough to take me out. That's gonna increase my defense. It comes down to if Bundle is, it's also gonna come down to what Fisk goes into here. Okay, so it has to be Bundle. And I think he has to Hydro me. I don't think Ice Beam does enough to Raikou to put me in range of anything from Zapdos, and I'm faster than Ogre Pond. So it's gonna be a T-Bolt here. Does he sack Ogre? Hmm. Does he realize that Ice Beam does not do enough and that he's gonna have to sack Ogre Pond to beat me? Specs Ice Beam should be doing about 75. Hydro does 91, which is exactly what I'm at. So I am gonna Thunderbolt here. That is Specs. We do get off the T-Bolt. Let's see if we can beat the Zapdos 1v1. Let's see what it's got. There's the Zap. Let's call Mind. Actually, hold on. Thunderbolt does 33. Yeah, we got a Calm Mind. Discharge does 18. Hurricane does 25. After a Calm Mind, Hurricane will do 16. So he has to hit two Hurricanes, essentially. My Thunderbolts at plus two can KO. 67 to 79 to max HP. Not max HP, near max HP. Now, if he has U-turn, he wins. <laughs> so, but I doubt he has U-turn on a Volt Switch set. If he brought both, then kudos. There's a Hurricane miss, and that should be the game. Now we just T-bolt twice. Now it should be secured. 47, roost, okay. You don't got enough of those, buddy. I can T-bolt again. I could call mind here, but I'm not going to. That's 46, there's a roost. We are gonna CM here. Yeah, I do call mind, I do call mind. Cause I think he's gonna spam roost until he gets up to full. There's the roost. So now we T-bolt twice, assuming no crit, we win the game. That's no crit, no confusion, no confusion. Let's go, Raikou. Let's go, Habsols. Four and one in the TGS, taking down the undefeated Fist to your doom. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. GG's to my opponent. That should be pretty good for securing a playoff spot. It is another 1-0, unfortunately. We could have done a little bit better here, obviously, but I think that our prep was solid, despite it being so quick and made on a drunken night with friends. And I really do appreciate all the help from my mock partners, as usual, everybody who usually gives me help with these teams. GG's to my opponent. Check them out in the description down below. Go and check out all the coaches in the TGS this season, the very first season, and I will catch you guys for week six. Peace.